going around the wicket, of course, to Gary Kirsten. And Gary Kirsten rocks onto the back foot and gets this one away for four. Square on the offside. Good shot, that. Quite know what that's all about. Couldn't have got his hands any higher. And certainly, uh, if Dave Orchard had uh, given that out, LBW. Puff of dirt there. I oh, know, sublime to the ridiculous thing. Eh? Well, you know, this is the sort of thing, and uh, I'm surprised they don't realize it, but it is actually going to turn the umpires off. Driven firmly but uh, defensive fielder and that's good captaincy that man back there is allowing Mushtak to get it right up to Gary Kirsten not out and nowhere near out so you saw the histrionics up they go and there's the finger and Mushtak has got Gary Kirsten caught in that silly mid-off for silly point position. And that's a very big blow for Pakistan and a big blow for South Africa. What a big wicket that one. And I think the fielder there under the helmet is Rashid Latif, the tour captain. Mushtak once again pitching in the rough there, Gary Kirsten coming in the front, on the front foot, first hitting the pad and then going on to hit the bat and Rashid Latif jumping in the air and I promise you the man most relieved must be Amir Suhail who had dropped him earlier on. South Africa losing their second record for 42. Oh! Very good first delivery from Mushtaq to the new batsman bowling him the googly and he got some bounce out of that one. Well it's a different game now, totally different. First delivery to Ackerman there, the wrong one which I suspected in trade, finding the gap between the bat and the pad. Fortunate for him, it just bounced too much on that occasion. Oh. Well, he's hit that fairly positively. Just the one bounce four. That wouldn't be a bad idea. It's play shots like that. Yes, he was given a short one. Oh, he's given him out. Shark Callis's body language there was maybe agreeing with umpire Orchard. Just took that half a step and then hung about. Orchard said, no, you nicked it. Off you go. Soft dismissal this, because uh, it was outside leg stump more or less just tried to push it away and rather unluckily if he did get a nick got a faint one yes it looked as if it was almost off the face and there therefore didn't deflect much good catching by moen and a very very good decision by umpire orchard tremendous catch that by man khan so jacques Carlos his innings of 22 in 89 deliveries, very nearly two hours comes to an end, and South Africa now struggling, 49 for three. Sweeps straight away, off the glove, over the keeper's head. In the end of another very successful over, both for Mushtaq and for Pakistan, 49 for three. Oh, that's a great delivery. Well, Mushtaq knows that Andrew Hansen likes to get onto the front foot. Just got this one marginally shorter. And watch it bounce. Morning, That's his first move. Brilliant bowling. Brilliant, brilliant bowling, Mushtaq. It's good running. Well, that's more like it. Well done, HD. I knew that the man running towards the ball was left-handed. Firm push. We'll see if there was any bat involved. No. 
precisely what Lee Irvin was talking about. It's not a bad tactic. going down to the third man boundary but it was a streaky shot there remember a slip and a gully in there and I think it went between them Amir Sahail on his knees he's the first slip is not on this occasion it was a very good effort by the fielder ah! is this lbw it is it was almost inevitable he misread the googly he shakes his head it's not because he disagrees with the umpiring decision i don't think it's just because he could not fathom mushtaq ahmed and really it was a matter of time before he was going to get it well he made that cardinal mistake of going forward and then back not reading his flight in the air or off the wicket as he turned the wrong one and right in front of that wicket good piece of bowling by little mushtaq absolutely delighted and so is the pakistan team so hilton ackerman junior his second innings in test match cricket ends in disappointment lbw to mushtaq for 11 and south africa in real trouble at 76 for four gotcha! Pass and drive and out caught mid up good catch that might have looked quite simple trust me that ball was traveling yes it was no doubt about it and how it has paid from coming bowling over the wicket to hudson something that we have been talking about and mushi picking up his fourth wicket and once again doing the job for Pakistan. Brilliant catch that was, and I'm sure we'll see. Tossing it up, and Hudson not really on top of it, hitting it very hard, and the ball going low to the fielder at long off, and a very good catch there. Brilliant thing, but I think that's Fazle Akbar. In South Africa, losing their fifth wicket for 79. There you go. A little bit wide. And, poor. and that's the way he plays and that's the only way he plays but I'm sure Mushtaq and the Pakistani team won't mind at this stage of the game because South Africa is still trailing ground ah! ground that was very well bowled Well, he didn't offer a shot, but um, I'm sure the umpire couldn't believe that that was going to hit the stumps. His pad was well outside the line of the off stump. Well, that's a bad ball, and it is dispatched well by Nancy Cronier. You've got to be patient against Mushtaq. He doesn't bowl too many bad ones. you just got to bide your time, wait, and when you get one like that, make sure you put it away. Is he stumped? The umpire is going to call for the third umpire to adjudicate. Umpire Rudy Kutz, and he doesn't have to bother. Sean Pollock is walking. He knows he's gone. He wanted to give Mushtaq the charge there, and he was badly caught out. And I think that's it for South Africa. Well, down he came. Trying to unsettle him, realized that it was wide, tried to get back, but way too late. Now that light is certainly going to change to red. There's the red light flashing, but uh, the third umpire didn't really have to bother. He knew he was out. He's three quarters of the way to the boundary, walking off very slowly. Badly caught out there. Rushing down the wicket to him, shaking his head now, and he was left stranded. Another fine bit of bowling by Mushtaq. And I think with the demise of Sean Pollock, South Africa's hopes have finally gone out of the window. Stumped Mohan Khan, bowled Mushtaq for 30, 120 for 7. Mushtaq continues. 
Big appeal. And bye bye, Lance Klusner. Straight forward, pitching outside off stump. Klusner choosing to play back. Turns in. He looks from here, would have hit middle and leg. And whether there was just a hint of an inside edge, I can't claim that there was. Clusen out for two, so that's got 133 for eight. Yes! Reverse sweep. And four runs. Once again, Mushtaq getting an outside edge of Mark Bouch's bat. Catch it! This has gone up high in the air and he might be caught and is dropped. Well, that certainly didn't amuse Mushtaq. He has done everything. Come on! And once again, Boucher. They're not be hitting as cleanly as they did on the previous delivery. But again, finding enough of the bat to pick up four more runs. That's sore. Full toss, and I think that's hit the side of Shortleg's face. Careful. Oh, and always takes a chance when one is in there so close and they really were close but, uh, it's a tribute to Mushtaq Ahmed bowling